Well, good morning, everybody. We are going on a family camp out. We're taking Michelle, Olivia, Branston, me, the van, obviously. It's going to be amazing. Just a couple of nights in Apple Tree Week at Mason's campsite, and it's going to be awesome. Whatever happens while we're there, we shall film it. Okay, see you, bye. So we are camped up and the wonderful Alfie brought us some uh, like things to go under the wheels because the grass is a little bit, well just grass and mud basically. It's in better condition than some of the grass pitches that I've seen uh, where it's just to preserve the grass because this is their first, is it their first opening? Yeah, first full day today. First so full day today. Night. So yeah they're trying to preserve the grass and so at least it looks nice for the rest of the season. Bumped into some subscribers as well uh, just over near the toilets random and they are the guys that provide the flowers for Mason's campsite uh, so it was lovely to see you thanks for coming up and chatting and we'll see you at the dubbed out festival. It's a case of me disappearing with the dog and you doing everything. I might do the campsite tour tomorrow when the sun shines out because it make it look nicer won't it? It might do. Should we get set up? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Right, so we've been trying to get the van on the chocks. We only need to put one in this corner and we're struggling because the campsite have quite nicely given us these like rubber mats to stop us sinking into the floor. However, the chocks are sliding along on them. I think what we're going to have to do is come off of one of the rubber mats so then we can get onto a chock and then put the rubber mat into it. I think it's going to have, I don't know. But we've been doing it for the past 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> so Olivia and Michelle have gone to go hire a fire pit and take the dog for a walk because I love setting up the van all by myself. The van's sort of straight, the chocks aren't brilliant, they're not big chocks, so I think we might have to invest in some deeper ones and bigger ones if we're going to be coming to more sites like this that are a little bit more uneven. There are a lot of flat spots here, but we seem to have got the only non-flat spot <laughs> standard. But, you know, it's, uh, it's holiday, isn't it? So, happy days. Have you seen the view from the front of the van? Look at that. <gasps> So we've figured out, um, and I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but do you know the shelf that I made to stop my pillow falling down when I've got the pop top down, the little uh, shelfy thing here just above my head? Well if we put this in the van as, uh, as we're in here now, we can use it to put our bags and stuff and keep them all out of the way. That's genius! I'm also, I can fit, you know, so I quiff fits, which is fine. I am going to bang my head on it at some point, I know I am, but that's genius! Why have I never ever thought of that before? There's a man just arrived on his bike with a tent and everything. I just, that's next level is that, I love that. All the wood is there, just needs chopping up in uh, pure Colin style, getting my axe out and everything, which is part and parcel of the whole camping thing. Uh, Michelle even suggested that uh, we went to a campsite that didn't allow fire pits. What's that all about? To hire the fire pit for the first night and it comes with a bag of wood is £15 but then your next night is £5 uh, so it'll be 20 quid if you come for two nights but you'll have a bag of wood. Big size of it. It's not going under awning. <laughs> you can get a fire extinguisher just in case. It's alright isn't it? I think they don't give fire extinguishers to anybody else. <laughs> They've just seen me. <laughs> I didn't have to drive that, I don't think I'd have got through the barrier. I don't know if you know, but you don't drive it. <laughs> what 
is happening basically is that I've won. Uh, I got to 50 and these guys are stuck on 10 and 17. The pair of them have probably had about seven goes between them and not hit one each time. It's half past four, it's time for a beer. In fact, I know what I've brought. I have brought my God's own country, Yorkshire mug. Nice. Do you reckon I can get two pints in this? Let's have a look. Quality content, this. <laughs> Just me filling up a glass. No, I can't get two in there. Well, that's enough, that. Oh, cheers. Turns out, you can do hash browns in the Ridge Monkey. Do look a little bit charcoal, but that's because I started it off quite hot. But uh, then when, once I turned it down, it was fine. Mm -hmm. But we've all agreed that cooking outside is so much better. And the van doesn't smell like egg and uh, or hash browns. Right then, dinner done. Um, and my favorite part of any finished dinner is somebody else cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes while they're washing up. Bit of a beer. Ah, should we get the fire pit on? Yes. So I've set the bed up so it's all ready to go for later on and we've got the fire going. They've already started on the marshmallows and it's now time to just chill out and uh, words. <laughs> what happened there? You want digestives? Oh, you're going to make s'mores? Oh, they're going to make s'mores. Mint. We had an issue and uh, the issue was Bramston knocking all our beers over so uh, he's now in bed. <laughs> I want to play super heavy metal. Oh. Olivia wants to play kind of in between metal kind of rock and uh, Harry Styles. Michelle wants to play Harry Styles so can you put down in the comment section below which you think we should choose. <laughs> but I like Harry Styles. No. morning what a wonderful sleep and what a beautiful morning it is today as well the sun has got his hat on hip 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 hooray now i'm whispering because olivia is still asleep because she's a teenager and there's no waking her up <laughs> that's breakfast done and uh, we've all got full bellies now we've just made some sandwiches for a walk and we're going to walk down the riverside that way because it's a beautiful walk. Uh, I'm going to take you along with us. I'm just going to change into my uh, walking shoes. Um, they're going to do the pots. And then we're going to set off. It's going to be nice. So we just sat uh, having our coffee before our walk, uh, changed our shoes and stuff like that. And a uh, subscriber came over, started chatting to us, which was lovely. Um, and I've just had a quick look in their van. Turns out his daughter, who's also here, is uh, the lady that I've been speaking to and dealt with when I first bought the van, who works at CNH Pop Tops, who installed our Pop Top. That's Ace. Uh, so I've been chatting with Jess. So it's been lovely to chat with you and um, and her dad and everybody. And it's just yeah, it's, it's a lovely, lovely community that, that we're part of. So on my right side here we've got the river wharf and that meanders through the dales and even goes through Watley, our town. And um, 
a little bit further down this river here, probably a couple of miles, we've got a thing called the Strid. Now those that are familiar with the area will know what the Strid is, but those who aren't familiar, um, it's a narrowing in the river. Now all this body of water, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of millions of gallons go all the way down this river, and then they come to a, um, like, a, a, like a pinch point and all of that water has to go through there. Now what it's done is it's, it's undercut underneath and nobody knows how deep it is and there's best guesses and things like that but because it's such a bad current and it's, and it's so crazy and swirly no one can really tell. Um, and it's said to be the deadliest river in the whole world, that certain section there. So, uh, so yeah, for those interested, you can come to Bolton Abbey and you can go right up to the Strid. There's no fences or anything like that, but please don't fall in because the chances of you coming out are very, very slim because it's got a 100% fatality rate. So be safe, um, but yeah, you can come and see it from Bolton Abbey, which is proper awesome. Another thing as well, Michelle was talking about paddleboarding on this river, which is totally fine. You know, we paddleboarded on this river, different sections of the wharf. However, this is the bit where we're most kind of, oh, don't really want to go on this bit of the river because the next bit is the Strid and uh, yeah, we don't want to be heading down there. But further upstream is absolutely fine, perfectly fine at the campsite and uh, Burns Hill and everything is super, super lovely. But yeah, a little bit of a fact there of the area, nice. So it's only a nice short walk, but I think it's a lovely walk to do, certainly on a day like this, it's really beautiful. But if you wanted to stretch it a little bit further, which is something I'll probably do in the future, um, there's an area called Simon's Seat just at the top there. And that'd be uh, that'd add a couple of hours to the walk uh, but now what we're going to do is we're going to turn left at the road and head on to the what is it called again the pub. pub the pub yes the hills over there are um little natural hills called drumlins which uh, were formed millions of years ago back when the uk was you know all ice um it was all f formed by rocks being picked up by glaciers through any kind of erosion that you could think of and once the glaciers melted um, all the rocks would stay in one position and after loads of time grass has grown over them and they're, they're called drumlins little little natural hills people who think that they're not natural they are the car's just gone past the registration plate ricky and we've all just gone ricky 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 <laughs> that's a southern accent by the way so yeah apologies <laughs> So we were just sat here on a bench, all three of us eating a sandwich and an apple, <laughs> randomly in the middle of Yorkshire. And a couple of subscribers came walking down, didn't they? Said hello, it was lovely to meet you. Um, but we, we, Michelle would just say now, random it must be for them to come to York. I mean, Yorkshire's vast and we go anywhere and everywhere in Yorkshire. But imagine them just walking randomly through Yorkshire, taking their dog for a walk <laughs> and then bumping into people they subscribe to on YouTube, just sat on a bench eating apples. <laughs> No, excuse me. What? That's not, no, that's not right. What's wrong with that? Swap. Thank you. Pan of Wolfdale Blonde. Lovely juggling. Charles. Charles. Oh, can need to Cheers, Liv. I need it to set up fire. So we've come to the Craven Arms and it's properly nice, isn't it? They've got a, a barn at the back called the Crook Barn. They do weddings in there. I've done a few weddings there uh, over the time and uh, they've just added, which I love, uh, little huts just to the right of me there that you, if the weather's bad you can still sit outside in the little huts, it's really nice. And, uh, and yeah, once we've done this, we're going to go back to the campsite and do a campsite tour. I'll see you then, zoo boy! This site is lovely, well maintained and in a gorgeous location. There are lots of walks from the campsite, like the walk we did today, or you can walk in the opposite way to Burnsall for a coffee and a bite to eat. This site has all the amenities you'd expect. It has an area for your waste, a pot wash area under cover, a place for your hot ashes, an Elson point for your loo waste, a specific bulls area, a few water taps around the site and 24-7 on-site staff. The toilets are clean and well maintained and the showers are warm and spacious and there is an accessible toilet and shower. 
This site also has a wonderful coffee shop that serves pizzas, smoothies, croissants and much more. Reception is an old converted Airstream caravan and stocks toys, wood, essential, gas and fire pits can be ordered from here too. There are no hard standing pitches on site but most pitches have electric hookup. This site is right on the river wharf which is safe for paddling check the currents before entering and boasts around six yurts that you can hire with a wood burning stove, king size beds that come with sheets provided. There is also a huge field at the back that we have played games on during previous visits too. All in all this site gets a thumbs up from us albeit for a Yorkshire man like me a little bit on the expensive side at £50 a night with electric hookup. I'll get all wood don't worry about it. <laughs> so all the wood is chopped. I'm having a beer, the fire pit is ready to go, I'm sat in the sunshine, it's lovely and I'm happy, it's lovely this, it's proper nice, they're playing spite or malachy, molochy, whatever you want to call it and uh, having a beer. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Last night we had a bit of a fire pit but we didn't burn all of the wood. Uh, it got super cold so we went in to play some games uh, in the van and had an early night so I think we were all asleep by about 10 o'clock. I think the fresh air had wiped us out. Um, so yeah, we're basically just packing up now. I know, I hate it. Oh, boo. <laughs> uh, but I think we're going via a place called Mackenzie's Smokehouse which I think is a farm shop so we'll take you along with us and, uh, and that's just local to here. So yeah, we can uh, go check that out. Okay, see you, bye. Welcome to Mackenzie's Smokehouse and Farm Shop. Liv's staying in the car with Branston because uh, she's still in her pyjamas because she's a teenager. <laughs> Mackenzie's Smokehouse is a large farm shop that sells pottery, homemade candles made on site, lots of gift ideas and plenty of food and beer. It also has a cafe that serves food, hosts pottery painting days and more importantly it serves a good old Sunday roast. I hope you enjoyed this week's video, please like and subscribe for more campsite tours, local attraction information, DIY in the van, hiking and cycling trips. Thank you so much for watching, we shall see you on our next adventure. Stay awesome everyone and above all, be kind. I want recording, cool. <laughs>